imagine you are trying to run from this mentality, leaving the black. But it's not the black, it's, it's the mentality that you have, right. that you have to leave. Because the black is only something material. Right. But it's, it's the people as you there. were saying, energy, energy, energy. You know, having that energy to do the real things that you want in life, not, not having that control by a group of people around you. Right. That say you have to express yourself in certain ways and you have to dress certain ways in order for you to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. Of St. Peter is waiting for you up there or you're going to get so many virgins if you blow yourself, yourself up. All of these ridiculous things. So, you know, now I'm, I'm reaching a higher path. Sky is the limit. There you go. Take sky, it from sky this guy. Sky is the limit. Sky is the limit. You know? you know, nothing is impossible. You just have to have the right mentality taking it from you. And Patience. You know. Yes, a lot of spirituality is about patience, compassion, and my whole thing, the bottom line is faith. But what do you have faith in? Mm -hmm. That's the key. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are sick because they have faith in sickness. And that's why I think it's Matthew somewhere in that Bible. It says it's done to you according to your belief. It didn't say your religion mm -hmm. uh, what job title it say your belief. So if you believe you can't accomplish what you want, you, nine times out of ten you want. So it's all about the self and your uniqueness. I think, you know, mm -hmm. I, I deal with both of you. I, I see the uniqueness <laughs> in both of you. It don't make one better than the other. You are who you are, he's who mm -hmm. he's, he's, he is. And it's good, it's good. You have different goals, he has different goals. So nobody has to conform and follow anybody, you know, whatever is laid out that this is how you do it. Anytime I speak to you and him or anybody in that block, always tell people what's in, what, is, what is inside is telling you. Because the whole thing about spirituality, you have to learn how to get in tune with your inner self. Mm -hmm. Some people call it your inner spirit, your God self, your higher self, the higher. It's inside of you. And this is how you build that faith. It's inside of you, not out there. Because people believe in the book. Like you say, it's just a book. Mm -hmm. Somebody interpret it. God knows who. <laughs> exactly. You know, <laughs> because I don't have so many people want to fight who got the right Bible. And my thing to them, what's your point? This one here got arthritis. This one here has a heart problem. This one here, kids are off the hook. And this is what you're wasting your energy, mm -hmm. going to debate and fight someone who got the right back? Who knows? Who knows? Even, even, even one time we had an experience on the block when I was talking to somebody <laughs> and um, that person is just lost. And you came down the block and he made a comment and then you said hello to him and he just started talking about the Lord and just trying to challenge you. Mm -hmm. But for no reason. That's because you, that's how powerful you are. Oh, yeah. that he feels, you know, the need to try to challenge you and try to see where you at. You know, you brushed it off and just told him, and he was looking stupid. Because he's not ready. Yeah. He's not ready. And I know him. Mm -hmm. I know him, and I know why. He went to the church. Mm -hmm. He couldn't make it in the rap field, because mm -hmm. that was his dream. Exactly, yeah. So now he's rapping in church. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. uh -huh. So yeah. what I call that is an addiction. This don't work, so you transfer it. Now he's holy than thou. And everybody's going to hell if they don't believe what he believed. Mm -hmm. I never, ever told anybody, even in my seminars, I've been doing this show two and a half years, I never told anyone because you don't believe or accept what I believe. That doesn't mean you're not going to heaven mm -hmm. because I believe heaven and hell is right here on earth. Hmm. And even even one time, a good friend of mine, she told me, um, what is heaven? Mm -hmm. You know, let's say you get married. Let's, let's say me and you get married, and um, I pass away. You know, and you say and you tell you tell 
people, oh, I'm, I'll see you in heaven. Then let's say years down the line, you get married, you know? And then that husband passed away, then you pass away. Who are you going to be in heaven with? Which husband? <laughs> you know? So when the person told me that, I was like, wow, you know, some, some deep words, you know? But you know what was good about that? And this is what I've been explaining to both of you, thought-provoking questions. That's why you need to... You need to say these things because you get people that are like, wow, I never thought about that. Yeah. Because people are reactors, they're not thinkers, mm. you know. All you have to do is put, tell someone, well, tell me. And I had this happen to me, a guy on Fordham Road. Mm -hmm. This was a young guy. He stopped me. But he didn't know who he was telling to. And Fordham and the Grand Concourse. And he started telling me about Jesus and, you know, if I don't accept the Lord Jesus, I'm going to burn in hell. Yeah. Oh, Lord. I mean, he went and I just listened. listened. So I told him and he said, well, I was on drugs. I was out in the street. I tried to kill myself and the church saved me. I said, I wasn't on drugs. But I tried suicide four times, mm. and I didn't go to the church to get saved. They didn't save me. Mm -hmm. I, they didn't.